hello, it's Ali here. I hope you've had a lovely day today. Now, I've been asked to read you a bedtime story, so I've chosen Aliens Love Underpants. So I hope you're ready and all snuggled up and warm and ready for this story. Okay. Aliens love underpants of every shape and size, but there are no underpants in space, so here's a big surprise. When aliens fly down to Earth, they don't come to meet you. They simply want your underpants. I bet you never knew. Their spaceship's radar bleeps and blinks the moment that it sees. A washing line of underpants all flapping in the breeze. They land in your back garden, though they haven't been invited. Ooh, underpants, they chant and dance around delighted. They like them red, they like them green, or orange like satsumas, but best of all, they love the sight of Granny's spotted bloomers. Mum's pink frilly knickers are a perfect place to hide, and Grandpa's woolly long johns make a super whizzy slide. In daring competitions held up by just one peg, they count how many aliens can squeeze inside each leg. They wear pants on their feet and heads and other silly places and fly pants from their spaceships and hold upside down pant races. As they go zinging through the air, it really is pantastic what fun the aliens can have with pingy pants elastic. It's not your neighbour's naughty dog or next door's funny game. When underpants go missing, the aliens are to blame. But quick, Mum's coming out to fetch the washing in at last. Whee! Off the aliens all zoom. They're used to leaving fast. So, when you put your pants on, freshly washed and nice and clean, just check in case an alien still lurks inside unseen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope you're feeling super tired now and ready for bed. Sleep tight, have a good night and hope to see you soon.